So we're going to break this down. What it actually means when basically you have defeated the narcissist is what we're going to talk about here. And there's easy ways to know this. Some of you might not know because you might not have yet defeated the narcissist. But when you do, you will know and you will know why, as I have. The narcissist is going to mess with you. They're going to F with you when they believe there's a chance they can get over on you. But when they know for a fact in their minds that, you know what, this person is too much. They're too smart. I can't get over on them. I can't fool them. I can't have them fooled. They are just simply too much. There's nothing I can do. You're going to see them go bye-bye. That is when you have them defeated. That's when you beat the narc. It could have been your ex. What the hell was that? I just heard something over there. But anyways. It could have been your ex. It could have been friends. It could have been anybody. Anybody at all. I have defeated both. I have defeated... Old friends that turned into narcs because they abandoned their true self. They decided to take a route to take a place in life that was not what they should have done. Same as the axis. Some will take certain paths and it's, it's not what you should have done. So now you're fucked. So. But. When you, when, when you keep progressing in life, you're just that type of person that will not go away. You just won't go away. You keep persisting, persisting, persisting. You keep smacking that pinata. You ain't stopping. You are going to hit that damn thing until it breaks and you get the candy. Too many damn people in life hit that pinata over and over and over again. Just before it's about to break and they walk away. You would have hit that a couple more times, you would have got the candy. If you're going to even start hitting the damn thing to begin with, you better stay there until you get the damn candy. Otherwise, what was the point? What, it's too much? If that's too much, you don't even deserve the damn candy. Bro, you got to hit that damn thing and not go away. You keep smacking it and smacking it and smacking it. You're getting that damn candy. You want it. There's a reason you started hitting it. You better stay right there. And keep swinging. With your feet planted. Perfect technique. Perfect amount of power. And you keep hitting it. But anyways. <clears throat> when you are that person that just won't go away. And you keep persisting. As if you hit that pinata and got that candy. You get the candy of life. And these narcs know. They no longer have control over you. You are confirming it to them every every step of the way you continue to take. Because when you blow them out of the water and they know for a fact you're a lot better than them, you've done it a lot better than them, they're not even going to try no more because they can't, because they know they're no match for you. That's when they will go away. I've had many people that watched everything I've done for years and years and years and years and years. All of a sudden, they disappear. They're gone. And it's because I know I hit certain points that rub them the wrong way. I hit certain levels that they never thought I would ever hit. So now they're butt hurt and they're terrified for their life. And the more I progress and the more I do, just pushes them further and further and further away because they can't handle it. They can't handle the truth. The truth of what I've done with my own life. They can't handle that. 
to see how good I am today and how good I continue to get, they can't handle that. And I know for a fact they can't, and I know for a fact that is what's going on. I'm not stupid. I know what's going on. I can tell what people think of me just by the way they watch me. I can tell. I can tell. So, you will defeat the narc if you become much better than they ever could. They know they're no match. They know they can't fool you. They, they know they can't use you. They know they can't do anything. Which is why a lot of the time they will use people who is not as aware as they are, who is not as smart as they are, so they can get over on them. That's why they do that. Because they're going to continue to ruin people for the rest of their lives, get as much as they can out of people for the rest of their lives, and never actually be with the person they probably should have been with if they didn't end up the way they did. That's the unfortunate thing. The also unfortunate thing is, is you could have been the person that saw potential in the NERC. But potential doesn't cut nothing today. Things are what they are. Everyone has potential. The NERC could have had potential. They ruined it. They ruined it big time. So that person is no longer a candidate for you as a wife, a husband, a friend, anything. They're not a good candidate. So the better you become, the safer you are. I'm not joking about that. Because you being average, you being blue pilled, you being not aware as a person is such a dangerous fucking place to be in for anybody. Guy or girl, girl or guy, anybody, man or woman. It's a dangerous place. When you get really good, you don't need nothing from nobody, man. You're in a safe place. When you build a perfect life, perfect for yourself. The only thing people can do at that point is add to it in a positive way. So when you build a great life, things are going real well. If people come in and things start to seem a little off or weird or things are not as good as they were, you're going to, you're going to, like, they could be the best people, the best people at fooling you ever. They could be the best narcs fooling you ever. You will not be fooled when you realize things are getting worse, not better. When you already have a shit life, an average life, you'll be easily fooled. When you up your shit, when you up your status, when you up your income, when you up everything and your awareness, they can't get you. They just simply can't. It's when your life is not that great is when they can get you. Because if you're already in the gutter, things ain't going to seem all that off if you're being manipulated by a narc. It makes sense, right? So when you have a lit ball in life, it doesn't even have to be the biggest thing ever, but like when you when everything is going very well, the only thing anybody can do at that point is come into your life and add on to it in a positive way. Not a negative way. In a positive way. When things are already negative, you can't see straight. You can't see clearly. When things are very positive, you can. You can think clearly. You know something is going bad. You can feel intentions. So you're going to know automatically if someone's coming in that is not a good person. That is not the right person. So... When you're the type of person that has a lot of good things going already, you're hard to fool. You're hard to manipulate. So a lot of narcs are not going to bother with you at that point. Being friends that are narcs or a past person, a past ex or something like that. Or even people in general that you might not have even have met that might try to spark a conversation or talk to you. Because they're out there, man. I go certain places sometimes and there's new people that spur conversations with me and talk. And 
I'm seeing what's going on. Not everyone's a good, not, not, not everybody is a good apple. And you can tell. Because when you are a good apple, you're going to see what's bad. When you are a bad apple already, you don't really, there's a lot of things that ain't good about you right now. It's not that you, that you can't be a good apple, but things might just not be so hot for you right now. So you're going to kind of be a little bit of a bad apple along with the other bad apples. So you're not going to see a difference. When you're a good apple, you're ripe, you're a green apple. There's not a bruise on you. You're a perfect shaped apple. You're going to notice other apples that aren't great. So it is what it is, man. It's really like this. I know I use some weird analogies here and there, but they're, they're very true. And there are some bad apples that will be bad forever. Believe it or not, you could be a bad apple in a sense where things aren't great, but you can turn into a good apple because you have potential. But like I said, not everybody is going to live out their potential. You have to be willing to make the sacrifices in order to do so. Otherwise, you will be blind by so much. So you must do it. You can't let bullshit people into your life or they will make your life bullshit. What do you expect? If you have your shit together, you don't accept anything like that. It's just how it goes. It's just how it goes. Like, instinctually, it's just how it is. I personally wouldn't even accept so much of what I used to accept when I was like a teenager into my life, not even close. When you're young, you will accept more things that is far out of your range. When you get older and wiser, you know how important things are. You know your value. You know other people's value. You don't let people who don't know their value come near you. Because they're still immature. They can ruin you. They can ruin your value. A person that has no value can ruin a person with value. It is the truth. It is the truth. Because they can do things in order to make you that way. They can bring you down. They can bring down your value. That's why people with higher value are picky. They have high standards. Because they don't accept no bullshit into their life. Because when you let bullshit into your life, it can create a toxic atmosphere around you to bring you down. That's why when you have your shit together, you notice when things come in, if things start to feel a little cloudy and off and weird, things were not what they were. Things were not as good when they came around. So you got to eliminate them. It's fucking nerfs, man. They are out there. I just heard another noise. I don't know what the hell that is, bro. Is there like a raccoon stuck in my vent or something? Definitely not. I was joking. That'd be crazy. I did see a raccoon last night. I opened my door. I went out my deck. And I looked down by the stairs and there was a raccoon standing or just standing down there just looking at me with its eyes glowing in the dark. It's like, what the fuck is that? Those things are vicious, man. I don't want to go too close to those. They can snap. I had one last year. The compost bin, the green bin. I left it open. And I walked outside and I looked in the bin and there was a raccoon in there. I heard something moving around when I went outside. I looked in the green bin. There was a raccoon in there, bruh. I could have shut that. And trapped it. But what I did was I shut the I shut the lid. I took the garbage can close to the woods and wheeled it in the grass to the woods. And I stepped back a couple of feet and I front kicked the bin and ran the opposite way in case it fucking came out and started trying to attack me or some shit. You never know, man. 
the raccoon could think you're trying to kill it and it could pop out and try, try to attack you. I don't want rabies. Get the fuck out of here with that. So I did it and the raccoon just ran and ran off into the woods. So those things are crazy, bro. Those things wreck cars. I hit one one time and it flew underneath my car and it broke it. Tore the whole bottom out under the car. I feel like I fucking ran over a bowling ball or some shit. Clunk. Jesus. But anyways, man. You guys get the point of this video. Nerf this, nerf that, who gives a fuck? But they must be exposed. They must be. And I'm telling you, if you have your shit together, you will not be bothered by these people. They might try. They might. But you gotta be smart enough. You gotta be smart enough not to let them. It's not worth it. There are certain people you can see futures with and stuff. Narcs are not one of them. Because they lack something. And you know for a fact they lack something. And they're just not good enough to be around. They're just not. They would take so much advantage of you. They would benefit so much off of you when you would benefit so little off of them. That's why it will never work. It's just not a worthy situation for you to get yourself in. It is simply not. They don't bring enough value to the table in ways that they should. They feel entitled. They feel they deserve a whole bunch of stuff out of you when they can't even contribute to you in a positive way. Not even nearly enough. Not even nearly enough. So, focus on yourself. Focus on your own self-worth. Build yourself up. And you should have no issues. But if you're kind of average, you're going to find yourself in many issues. It's just the way it is. You can turn from average to above average at any time you want to work. You can do the work. I don't suggest being average. It comes with a lot of problems. So you might as well solve different problems to become above average. You're going to face problems one way or the other. So you might as well be a high caliber problem solver. That's it with this video.